What science is really telling us is that nature is a great ally in the fight against climate change, among other things that it does for us. Every other breath you take is fueled by the phytoplanktons, which are fed by the whales. Through the way they, they eat and they defecate, they help to fertilize phytoplankton. And since we know that phytoplankton grabs so much carbon from the atmosphere, the whales are playing an indirect role in the carbon sequestration on their body and indirectly through the fertilization of phytoplankton. I think it will not be very difficult to establish that whale killing is ecocide. Large whale that lives for 100 years might sequester more carbon than 1,500 trees. Whales give us oxygen. How would we live if we didn't have whales? If we go back and look at the work of the great whales, and they're grabbing carbon on their body and indirectly through the fertilization of phyto, it turns out that at a minimum, the value of the service of a single whale is $3 million. If large whales are worth three million to the planet, as Ralph Chami has said, 148 fin whales killed here in Iceland last year totals a whopping $444 million. That is ecocide. The harm to the climate and biodiversity from whaling in Iceland is not self-harm. One country's contribution to the climate crisis, causing harm to children in another country, is the origin's country's responsibility. There are no evidence that it is possible to hunt whales humanly. During the whaling season of 2022, photographs were captured displaying, among other things, a whale that had been shot with four different harpoons. This requires a minimum of 24 minutes to kill that whale. Also been reported that pregnant whales have been killed. We have been living in an anthropocentric world where nature and species other than humans have no rights. That has to change. That's another false narrative we have going around like a ghost here in Iceland that we're some sort of a whaling nation. So that's just not true. And it's not true to talk about it like this is part of our culture and, and, and all that. You know, that might be the argument for other nations, but it's not true in this case. Sometimes when we hold so tight to traditions, we we lose touch with new ones, with new opportunities, with new notions. Maybe we shouldn't be scared of losing some of those traditions, if they are traditions indeed. Because only with death of an idea, we give birth to a new one. Whales become up to 250 years old. They go up to 3,000 meters down into the ocean and bring the nutrition back for the phytoplanktons. And then we kill them? It's like killing our grandmother or great-grandmother because they get to be 250 years old. Now how stupid can we be? If we can change the story of our relationship with whales, we might just be able to rewrite the story of our planetary future. after nature, and then nature will boomerang back to us by helping us to fight climate change by at least 38% of the needed carbon sequestration from the atmosphere.